I just need some type of visual of Charlie's face throughout this entire conversation. Charlie's mind has been blown, okay? <laughs> Charlie's mind have been blown with the lived experiences of someone as a man going through the healthcare system. And my mind has also been blown because I know very few people who can say, like, I literally don't know what it's... I don't even expect to be treated like that when I mm -hmm. go to the doctor. Um, as we were prepping for this podcast and Charlie mentioned to me that, hey, I actually didn't know that people take uh birth control for for reasons other than than uh contraception i was like well you know one of those people you're actually really good friends with one of those people hi everyone um i am one of those people with that lived experience um and because a lot of people don't know i think it's a time to tell people that for me um i take a low dose of birth control regular pill the pill if you want to call it um i skip the placebo week so that i do not have a menstrual cycle i want to why about that. because <laughs> yes, let's do it. Um, why? Because um, there are several reasons why my body just cannot handle the hormonal up and down and the hormonal transition. And um, I heard all the things that a Southern church girl hears. Now, you need that for your body, girl. And you know you're supposed to have it. But it's like, are you, though? <laughs> Research is telling me that I don't really have to if I don't want to have this 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 um, this shedding of my vaginal lining be like a part of my life if I don't want it to be. Um, but because of anxiety, because of ADHD, because of PMDD, um, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, um, basically, the symptoms of the hormonal balance and imbalance and ebbs and flows are severe for me so much that they interrupt my life. Um, severe migraines. migraines, I mean, severe cramps. I mean, yes, I have, I would have migraines that would have me in the bed for an mm -hmm. entire week. And this is ever since I knew what, what a period was. I mean, 13 years mm -hmm. old, having a doctor's note missing five, six days of school. Um, and what that what that also can do um, interrupting my learning experience as well. Jill, I promise you, you are not flame throwing. It's all there. It's all there. Yeah. You're not okay. flame throwing. It's all there. Because don't don't be a little black girl in school that has a social worker visiting your house because you've missed school for five days yeah. and you actually need the proof that you have had these experiences with your period that deserves a low dose of birth control. Try being black in the South, being 17 years old, a 17 year old black girl growing up in the 99s and the 2000s, um, trying to get birth control and claiming that it's not because of a contraceptive reason that you genuinely need this as an as a as a healthcare need, right? Um, so that's personally what what a low dose of what a low dose of birth control does for me. And there are so many people who don't consider that fact that for a lot of people who are taking birth control, they're taking it for reasons other than contraception. And I just wanted to bring that into the forefront as a lived experience because it happens and it happens more often than not. And when Roe v. Wade crumbled to the ground and people started having the conversation about birth control being next, there were a lot of people who were afraid for a lot of different reasons. And I was one of those people. I personally cannot have, I have about a good three days in me mm. with, with no hormonal balancing mm -hmm. assistance before things start to go haywire, before things start to go awry. And so I personally can't have a doctor tell me you have to come back in two weeks for a pap smear before I refill this prescription. I actually can't have that happen to me. It's dangerous. But I often do. And it's dangerous for me. And I have to exp I have to use that word. That's actually dangerous for me. Here's why I take birth control. And then hopefully the conversation will shift. But I just wanted to share that experience because it is one that so, 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 so many people have, but is not talked about when we're having this conversation about about birth control, health care, and all the kinds of things that, that people will need to use birth control for.